this little metal amp, which we play the acoustic through. But uh, it's a horrible sound for acoustic. You don't, try not to do it, man. There's no, there's no tweeter. You know, acoustic and keyboards, they need a tweeter. And that's just for, like, jamming out metal. Then we got a deal on this thing. This is like a PV mic, but it's the top end PV. Let's see, what is it? I don't even know. It's just one that costs like a hundred bucks, but we got it for twenty bucks. The guy messed up at the. Listen, man, it's a hundred and twenty or hundred thirty bucks, and he was like, he thought it was the PV that was like for twenty or thirty bucks. Yeah. So he sold to me for like fifteen, like used, but it was in good. Career. <laughs> I got home, I couldn't believe it, dude. Now this is the amp that. Eddie Van Halen used, Hetfield's used, Randy Rhodes, like all these people, you know, your body's blocking like the light. Yeah. Well, can you get on there without blocking the light? Is there any way? Yeah. Here. Let me get the amp real quick here. I'll just go by it. Now this doesn't have channel switching. It's one freaking channel, dude. So I mean, whatever you do with the freaking sound, you have to like use on the pickups and the volume of your guitar. I do have one pedal, which is this uh, overdrive, and I use that for leads. All it does is just kind of boost. It doesn't really distort. There's not a lot of gain. And that's it, man. You know, I've got my cheat sheet right here. You know, you never know. So you can get these for cheap, but what happens is this blocks all the highs, all the tss, 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 ah, ah. everything's gone. It's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you get these Christmas tree. And that lets in all the treble, you know? These are awesome. Dude, is that earwax? Four EL34s. Um, I had them switched out from a pro. Wow, I, I almost ripped this, dude. Gee. Oh, that was close. Yeah, they had like, I think they're groove tubes or something. EL34s, that's a British sound. The American sounds, the 6L6 is like uh, Eddie Van Halen, Metallica, uh, Santana. These are people that use Mesa Boogie and a lot of these 6L6s, right? Like um, the PV6505. Okay, that's now they just made a new one with PV called the 6534, trying to make the quote British sound. Marshall's always come with these EL34s. I think they're from Groove Tubes, but I went to this place called uh, Euro Tubes. Eurotubes.com, and it's awesome. The guy who runs it, he'll actually answer your mail, and he's got this like hot wire kit for any amp. He's got freaking video on how to bias it. You know, when you change out your tubes, you can't just buy tubes and put them in. And this is what a lot of people are like. I don't even want a tube amp. I don't know how to do it. And you got two choices. You can do it yourself. When you when you put in new tubes, you got to reset like the voltages. You know, and it's crazy because you got to have it like on, and it's electrified, and you're like turning shit. You know, getting ready to die. Or you take it to the store and do it. Well, this guy had a video. I did the video. I bought the shit. It's like hot wired, you know, so to speak, hot rotted, you know, upgraded. And uh, I'm happy with it, dude. And this cab, I've been buying Basson cabs. It's made in America. It has Eminence Legends in it instead of the Celestian 30s, which like Marshall cabs have Celestian 30s. And it's like, it sounds great, dude. And I used to get it for like Factory Direct. This is like, they had like signed Nikki Six. Um, what's that band we used to listen to that was like so metal? Skin Lab. They, had, they signed the Skin Lab dude. Love that band. And uh, would sell it for like 400 bucks. Then they got a deal old musician's friend, and even though it's still low, it's now it's like 650. But it's a completely sealed cap. Most caps are ported, okay? Ported is more efficient. Okay, it sounds louder, but the, the punch is kind of gone. This thing is sealed up. 300 watt handles 300 watts they make a 450 watt one which is crazy i mean this is only 100 watts you know now there's a difference between tube watts and solid state you know like a 100 watt let's say a 50 watt tube amp would kill a 300 watt solid state typically as far as loudness and punch i mean they're just different systems anyways dude four of those 12s and that's it and i got no pedals man i would buy like a chorus, a wah, a delay, and maybe like one other pedal. You know, I mean, just, just once in a while because, you know, every lead's about the same. It, it's getting there. But, you know, I mean, Cobain, he used like a, 
a chorus pedal. We call it the Little Stone, or I don't know what the hell it's called. It's, now it's the Cobain pedal, you know. And of course, Van Halen always used the phaser. I mean, uh, the flange, wasn't it? Yeah, flange, echo. Most, most lead guitars click an echo when they're, and that's what that 80s sound, like dime bag a little bit, but mainly Eddie Van Halen. You get like Steve Vai and these people that it's like real spacey. Um, on the guitars, my main axe here is a baritone. Now the baritone is typically five notes lower. You know, it goes all the way down to uh, C, B, which is like if you had a seven string guitar, okay, one note lower is a B, it starts with B, goes up to E, it'd be like having a seven string guitar and taking off that last string and just starting five lower, like a five string bass is lower. So it's six strings, but it's as low as a seven string guitar, but we go up two more frets, okay, higher, so we put it in a C. Okay, and then when we drop it, it goes really low. But anyways, it's a Schecter. Now they make it one inch longer. So instead of, like guitars are typically, like this one is a 24.75 scale. Like, you know, some of the Gibsons and things like that are that scale. And then strats go to 25.5. This goes to 26.5. So it's one inch longer and it goes through the body all the way to here, so it's got an extra inch, right there even, going through the body. What that does is keep the tension, you put thicker strings on it, and when it goes really low, it'd be like taking this guitar and dropping it down five, you're gonna be like flopping around, it'd be like so, you know, you couldn't even play the guitar. And it's got Seymour Duncan's in it, the JB, which is like Marco's trademark, any guitar, that one I dropped them in, I just, any guitar I get, I put the JB in, and the 59 from Seymour Duncan. Now they stopped making this guitar. So I'm kind of screwed on that. You got earplugs, man? That's all right. So I keep this on one setting and one setting only. Because I'm not a type of guy like for each song come here and change this stuff. Maybe for recording, but I keep this thing jacked up about five on the master and eight on the preamp. And trust me, dude, that's as loud as you want to go. Everything about how I play is with the pickup selector and the volume, and sometimes the tone.
much difference that makes when it's a lot, like low volume. But not so much when it's high. All right, well, I'm not gonna play something like, hey, check me out, man. I'm the best guitar player I've ever seen. Cause trust me, I'm not, man. I like singing more than guitar sometimes, but this amp is freaking powerful to me. I love it. All right, now this guitar here, we keep that at E flat or E. And it's a, well, it's an ESP pop belly, which they've changed it a little bit since I bought it. It's really short. I don't know how much I like it. It's a PB500. I changed out the pickups. I think they had slashes in there. They had slashes, uh, I don't know, Alnico 2, some crap. Awesome guitar playing, huh? Yeah. Actually, you know, I was thinking on working more on the guitar so I can get my leads down a little better. I mean, I'm always concentrating on writing and singing. But with the equipment I have, man, it's perfect. You know, I can do a lead, I can do a soulful lead, I can get the harmonics I want, I can switch up to rhythm. The only thing I'm missing is just a few pedals. If I was, like, rich, you know, I would have something, I don't know, something that sounds like the Marshall that I might have a clean channel, a mid, and a dirty. I'm not sure. It's like Angus, you know. One channel, his whole career. So it can be done. All right, let's go over to James's. Again, great guitar playing. I know, I know. 